just know what you got up there. Hey, so what happened just now? He took that Q-tip all the way up there. You see my eyes watery, huh? I'm crying for you guys, real. I'm crying for you. This is what we're going to do to get to y'all to teach y'all people out here. So Deacon didn't have a problem, you said? Deacon have a problem, not with that snarky tree out. I didn't have a problem. Uh, I'm the I'm booty, I'm booty <laughs> all the white men here. <laughs> it was great. You have a problem? No, sir. <laughs> see a tear. See a tear. You probably need to be. Guys, next. Next, next, next. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Wow. Yeah, Salam, Kahala Yahawa Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kwakadash. The bars of my teachers, the apostles, and elders of the great millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, where thou today will be born again in this generation. We shall along to the 130 Yashwala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about IUIC and the approach to the 666 mark of the beast. Now, um, I'm about to uh, take, uh, take off in my car right now, so I'm just going to go and read some scriptures, and then we're going to talk about, <clears throat> um, you know, what I want to highlight. So let's go ahead and read these scriptures real quick. And, uh, you know, this is Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net and as the birds that are caught in, his, in the snare... So are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. Now, these guys here, uh, IUIC, uh, you need to go ahead and see them. So these men who are affiliated with the Israel United in Christ, IUIC, which is for the most part, they are a false uh, group. They are a co-opted, uh, set up by the government organization to uh, you know, portray a form of godliness. Uh, to the Hebrew Israelites, you know, us Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, right? Um, they're led by a detective, a New York, a former New York, I don't even know if he's former, um, but a New York uh, detective called uh, Nate Nathaniel Seven, right? And, uh, he goes by the name of Bishop Nathaniel. Uh, they, they basically call him Nate Satan because he's a false prophet. Uh, it's very obvious that this group is that the people who are doing this are doing it for money and they're doing it for a paycheck right this is simply um the the jakes who became who were hustlers throughout their life who now have found a racket and a hustle in this truth right um you see one thing when you start coming into this truth when you start waking up to the truth of the bible a, a lot of what that happens when the lord opens up those, those gates uh, and gives you the truth a, a lot of people come in right like the scripture says that the, the kingdom of heaven is like fishermen who went out and, and gathered of all kinds and right and, and with all that kind they threw back you know they, they went on shore and then they you know divided the fish they threw back the bad and they kept the good now the IUIC these are the guys who had um, you know worldly hobbies right they are rappers fashion show directors, um, you know, hustlers, you know, and what they did when they got into this truth, though they, when they first originally came in, they may have been sincere, when they, uh, when they, 
continued on this organization, uh, it became a business. Now, I said all that to say this. The Bible has nothing to do with business, has nothing to do with you trying to trying to make, uh, you know, become become a, a, a millionaire, right? Billionaire, right? Like these guys are trying to do. So, because it just doesn't, it doesn't work, right? The Bible says you cannot serve God and mammon, right? Mammon being the God of money, right? You can't serve two masters. Now, these guys here, they took, a, they took the, the, uh, the C-19, uh, you know, test, right? The nasal test. Now, they, yeah, there are some people out there that say that there's micro nanoparticles on the Q-tips and all that stuff. And, you know, a lot of that is hyperbole and, and scaremongering, though it, it, there does exist actual, you know, nanoparticles. But the fact is, is that you're, they're not going to be putting these on every single Q-tip. So, but, you know, the, the point is there, right? The simple fact that you do these tests, um, you know, it is going to become a... It, it is the new normal now, people, right? Like, if you have to take the test, you have to take the test, right? Uh, you know, I, if you have a choice, you should not be taking the test. But, you know, your brothers have to work. You know, you can't do anything uh, to get out of it, right? And ultimately, it, when it comes down to getting an implant, that RFID microchip in your hand or in your forehead, that's when you're basically you got to say no. Now, these tests are simply just uh, stepping stones that are going to eventually lead to that. Now, this group here... Right? They're making jokes about this, right? right? And they're doing it as a group. They're doing it as a church. One thing here at Great Millstone, you're never going to see us going to some event and you know, having a lineup so you can get COVID tested, right? Just so you can go and you know, do, you know, to, to make money or to, to, to preach. No, we're, just, we're going to do it on the streets. And, you know, for those who want to come here, they're going to come here. We're not going to go, you know, and, and go through, you know, Esau's loops and, you know, um, and all his little, uh, you know, devices that he's setting up so that way get you used to this new normal, right? And, and make jokes about it, man, right? These guys here, you know, you know, what they should have done right here in this video, even though this is probably like a playful banter uh, video, is one, first of all, they shouldn't have even gone to this event uh, to, 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 uh, to where they would need to get tests, man, you know? You know, but the point being is that they, if they had to do this, they, had, they should have explained why they were doing this, man. Well, you know, this is going to lead to the chip. Don't take the mark of the beast. But again, this is IUIC. This is the same group that told you that the RFID chip is not going to be a microchip, right? Uh, you know, the, the thing is, is, it's very obvious now that these people are, are set up um, to deceive you, man. And they're going to go along so that way they continue to get their money. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right? And that's what a lot of these false uh, Hebrew Israelite uh, groups are doing, man. They're calling uh, you know, good evil and evil good. Right? They're putting uh, bitter for sweet. That's what they're doing when they're telling their congregation that, RFID, the coming RFID chip is not going to be the RFID, the, the, the mark of the beast, and that uh, there's going to be no Jacob's trouble. And then backpedaling on top of it to say that you never said it when you say it got caught in, in a lie, right? That is, is, is giving bitter for sweet, right? You're giving darkness for light, right? And that's why the Lord ultimately is going to be taking out these groups you see, man. You know, it already happened with that guy, Com Comfy. It happened with Ben Ami, right? It happened with uh, a lot of the other groups. I'm pretty sure you're going to see it happening to ISUPK, ISU, IUIC, and some of these other uh, camps that aren't teaching right, man, because they won't, you know, fix their doctrine because they got a, a narrative to push that they're getting paid for, man. Like, you know, you know, I'm sure they got sat down somewhere, some federal government building, and they got asked, they got, they got told, uh, you know, you could spend this many years in prison or you go home and a lot of these these sellouts decided to go home with a bag 
full of money, okay? But, um, yeah, Akim, you know, what's going on right now with these tests, all these new regulations we're going through, notice that this has been almost a year now since we've, we've done it, man. So the thing is, 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 is this has now become the new normal, right? And these devils, they work subtly, subtly right? It tells you that these Caucasians, which are biblically known as the Edomites, it says that they are cunning hunters, right? And that's what they're doing. They're, they're being very cunning at luring you into doing something that it, when it first started, man, nobody wanted to do these navel swabs, man. Nobody seen it as a good thing. Now people are starting to see that uh, that it's just the normal thing to do and people are getting adjusted to it, right? So again, you know, what I'm out here trying to tell you is what these guys did is folly. They should not be out here normalizing these devices of the devil and, uh, and ultimately, they should, uh, you know, be pushing the truth of the Bible, plain and simple. But again, it, that's not going to happen because the thing is, is they're, they're out here to get paid. So, but that's ultimately the way things are. So, but, so lock y'all came I'm out just getting here on the freeway, so I've got to merge in. All right, so back what well, what I want to read. Let's go ahead and uh, read this scripture here real quick and then we're going to get out of here. Let's see. This is Revelations 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life of God entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And ultimately, that's what's happening. That's why all this is going on right now, Akim. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, one third of you, plus 144,000, have woken up to the truth of the world, the true narrative of what's actually happening in reality, right? And it all has to do with what the Bible says. Now, these devils that run the society, these Edomites, the Caucasian race that you know this world belongs to right now, they're afraid of this. They, they are setting up organizations, right? They have these sellout organizations, the, these false Hebrew uh, camps. They also have, um, they also have uh, other organizations like the Southern Poverty Law Center, right? Back checkers. Uh, they have uh, Facebook, Google, right? They've set up a dragnet to turn off this truth, right? And if they can't turn off the truth, they're going to muddy the water. They're going to put out so much information and so much, you know, uh, fake news, right? Through these other camps and other people, other agents, these, uh, these uh, spam bot accounts that come up online that are, you know, ultimately they're just, you know, putting up bullshit uh, statements, you know, and some of the times they're, they're biblical statements, but they're just random, you know, uh, scriptures, things that have nothing to do with it, because what they're doing is they're ultimately trying to muddy the water, right? And pretty soon, there's going to be so much information out there that, you know, you're not going to be able to know what the truth is unless you actually start studying and the Lord has that, that, uh, that, that uh, mercy on you, man, because again, the way it works is that the, the feminine of what, uh, the truth, which is, you know, soon approaching, right? You could tell by have by all the uh, uh, channels that have been shut down, all the videos that have been removed, that um, that the famine of the word is coming, right? Because not only are they taking things down, but they're putting up a lot more uh, randomized false doctrine, man. You're starting to see a lot more Christians coming out with horrible uh, breakdowns, false breakdowns of scriptures, man. Just uh, the elder from uh, Texas today, uh, Yashawamba, put out a, a, a reply to the visual Bible uh, teaching of Obadiah, man. Those guys, they, they butchered the breakdown of the, of the book of Obadiah, and that's because they are obviously trying to hide the truth, right? But again, and then there's other things where now Edomites are saying that 
uh, you know, Edom doesn't exist, Israel doesn't exist. You see, these devils, they're going to try to lie even blatantly, just so that way all this truth is out there. But again, that's, this is ultimately what the devil's uh, doing, Akim, for, to get you Negroes and Latinos, Native Indians, to take that mark of the beast, that coming RFID chip, which is going to be used to verify your vaccination. It's going to be used to uh, uh, you know, store your money in the new federal uh, dollar system that they're going to be pushing out within the next year or two, probably even sooner. Right? Because they see what's going on, Akim. So I just wanted to give you a highlight of this, you know, talk a little bit about the scripture. So the next I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kokodash, the Bars, my teachers, the apostles, and elders, the great millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.